Greatest Hits Lost from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Greatest Hits is the 21st episode of the third season of Lost and 68th episode of the series. It was written by co executive producers Edward Kitsis and Adam Horowitz and directed by supervising producer Stephen Williams. The episode first aired on May 16, 2007, on the American Broadcasting Company in the United States and on CTV in Canada. Greatest Hits was viewed by 12 million Americans and was well received by critics. Lost's editors received a Golden Reel Award nomination. The episode takes place on December 22, 2004, 92 days after the crash of Oceanic Airlines Flight 815. A group of survivors prepare for an upcoming raid on their camp by the others, while the rest prepare to contact a nearby freighter. Charlie Pace, played by Dominic Monaghan, recounts the five greatest moments of his life, which are depicted in flashbacks as he prepares to fulfill Desmond Hume's, Henry Ian Cusick, premonitions of his death. Image. Charlie looks at his greatest hits before paddling to the looking glass with Desmond. Section 1. Plot. The other's leader, Ben Linus, orders ten of the others to go to the survivor's camp to kidnap any pregnant women that night, a night earlier than was scheduled. Ben's adopted daughter, Alex, persuades her boyfriend, Carl, to canoe to the survivor's beach to warn them. The survivor's leader, Jack Shepard, plans to kill the ambushing others, with dynamite retrieved by island resident Danielle Russo. Saeed Jara, Jin Kwan, and Bernard Nadler are selected to stay behind to shoot the dynamite-rigged tents when the others arrive. Desmond tells Charlie about his latest premonition. Charlie's girlfriend, Claire Littleton, and her baby Aaron will escape the island via helicopter if Charlie flips a switch in a Dharma-initiated station and drowns. Saeed tells Jack that he may be able to communicate with the freighter roughly 130 kilometers offshore. He can use the satellite phone of Naomi Dorrit, a woman working with those on the boat, once he goes to the radio tower to disable Rousseau's distress signal. Juliet Burke informs Saeed that this will not work because the underwater looking glass is blocking outgoing transmissions. Saeed realizes that a cable he found 70 days before connects to this station and that they will need someone to go on a probable suicide mission there, and Charlie volunteers. Naomi tells Charlie that his band Drive Shaft released a successful Greatest Hits album after the crash of Flight A-15. Flashbacks show Charlie's greatest hits of his life in descending order, which Charlie writes down and gives to Desmond for Claire. These greatest hits are as follows. The first time that he heard his band's breakout song on the radio. When his father Simon taught him how to swim. The time when his brother Liam gave him their grandfather Dexter Stratton's DS ring for which Drive Shaft is named as a Christmas present. When Charlie saved a woman, Nadia Jazim, Saeed's long-lost love, from being mugged. And the night following the crash, when he met Claire. Before paddling out to the looking glass with Desmond, Charlie assures Claire that he will be fine, kisses her goodbye, and leaves his ring in Aaron's crib. After diving underwater and entering the station, two others named Greta and Bonnie appear with guns aimed at Charlie. Section 2. Production Most of the island scenes were filmed from April 9, 2007 to April 12. A detailed episode synopsis was uploaded online before the episode aired and Disney investigated the leak. The name of the Dharma station in the episode is an allusion to Lewis Carroll's novel, Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There. Dominic Monaghan was inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio's underwater performance in Titanic and opened his mouth briefly underwater to appear under greater duress. This episode began the resolution of the story arc about Desmond's prophecy regarding Charlie's inevitable death, which began earlier in the season and would ultimately end in the finale. The storyline was conceived while producing the latter part of the second season when the writers were brainstorming ideas for a new storyline for Charlie. While Desmond could have had flashes of the future about anyone, Charlie was chosen over a less significant character so that the story would have higher stakes. Additionally, the writers decided that it would be a great way to bring out the heroic side of Charlie, with Charlie being the only character to die willingly. Despite the problems in Charlie's life, 
The writers believed that Charlie always was a good person and wanted to show that with the happiest moments of his character's life. Monaghan thought that the greatest hits was made to allow the audience to sit with his character's fate long enough to prepare themselves for what was going to happen in the finale. Greatest Hits marked the first appearance for married couple Rose and Bernard since the late second season, and fans welcomed the recurring character's return. The writers cited the actors' other projects as a reason for their absence. Additionally, it was feared that fans would complain if they appeared, when many actors with star billing had received limited screen time in the early third season. The writers also commented that they do not want to have the couples on the show if they are going to just be standing around in the background. They want to have Rose and Bernard in the show with interesting storylines. Image The Looking Glass Station Section 3 Reception Greatest Hits brought in an average of 12.32 million American viewers, making Lost the 15th most watched series of the week. This was consistent with previous Lost episodes in the same time slot. The first half was viewed by 11.9 million and the audience increased to 12.8 million in the second half. The episode received a 5.2 slash 14 in the key adults 18 to 49 demographic, placing it as the top rated scripted program for the night. In Canada, Greatest Hits was seen by 875,000 people, ranking 27th for the week. In the United Kingdom, the episode attracted 1.21 million viewers and was the second most watched program of the week on the non-terrestrial channels, beaten only by Katie and Peter, the next chapter. In Australia, Lost was the 51st most viewed show of the week, bringing in 1.001 million viewers. Patrick Day of the Los Angeles Times thought that as far as penultimate setup to the big finale episodes go, Greatest Hits was above par in more than one way. Day celebrated the return of Jack from Mount Boring the use of drums in Michael Giacchino's musical score, and the return of Rose and Bernard. Jeff Jensen of Entertainment Weekly wrote that Monaghan turned in his best performance yet on Lost, and described the final scene as breathtaking, with a stunningly realized Emmy-worthy triumph of FX. Kristen Veitch of E! also enjoyed Monaghan's acting, and called the episode a perfect example of the series' high quality. Charlie McCollum of the San Jose Mercury News described the latter episodes of the third season as an absolute thrill ride. Chris Carabit of IGN rated the episode as an 8.5 out of 10, commending the character development of Jack and Charlie and the acting skills of Emerson, who portrays Ben. Lulu Bates of Television Without Pity rated the episode as an A-. Aaron Martell of AOL's TV Squad rated Greatest Hits as a 6 out of 7, saying that it succeeded in building momentum for the season finale, pointed out the plot inconsistency regarding Charlie's inability to swim. Scott Juba of The Trades decided that Greatest Hits was the best episode of the third season, saying that the flashbacks, quote, evoke the type of identifiable human emotions that drive the success of loss. The true genius of the show lies not in its plot twists or mysteries, but rather in the ability to make the audience invested in the characters by evoking themes that almost anyone can identify with, end quote. John Laconis of Buddy TV noted that the episode was widely successful in turning Charlie into a likable and relatable character. Greatest Hits was nominated, but did not win, for the Golden Reel Award in the Best Sound Editing in Television, Short Form, Dialogue and Automated Dialogue Replacement category. The episode was submitted for Emmy consideration in the category of Outstanding Writing for a Drama Series and Outstanding Directing for a Drama Series. However, it was not nominated. The episode won the E. Tater Top Award for Biggest Tearjerker. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl dot html.